react to all of this is Arkansas Senator Tom Cotton. Senator, thank you so much for joining us. I want to first go to John Ratcliffe, who you've served with. Uh, one of the most consequential appointments a president can make is the director of the DNI, the director of national intelligence. What's your perspective about this nomination of John Ratcliffe? I know John Ratcliffe pretty well. His district in Texas borders Arkansas, so we've worked together on a number of issues. John is a seasoned prosecutor. He's now served many years on the House Intelligence Committee. I think it's a sound pick, um, and I suspect that uh, John will get a lot of support among the Senate. I, I can't say that many Senate Democrats will support him. They're still suffering from Trump, Trump derangement syndrome and opposing every person the president nominates to any office, but I think John Ratcliffe is a good pick. Uh, I commend the president for it, and I thank John for his willingness to serve in this new role. Uh, he really is immensely qualified and just a great, solid person, and I can't imagine there's a single Republican that would uh, oppose his nomination, uh, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, it is Washington, D.C. Uh, Senator, uh, you've been highly critical of China uh, throughout your career. How do you, what's your reaction or perspective on how China has handled the coronavirus in general, and are they doing enough today? No, they're not doing enough, Jason. China has had engaged in rampant malpractice, dishonesty, deceitfulness from the very beginning. If they hadn't concealed the outbreak of this virus in early December from the World Health Organization and from their own people, they might not have only protected their own people more effectively, but prevented it from spreading so far around the world already. They are still lying to their own people. They are still lying to the world. They are responsible for the spread of this virus outside of their own borders. That's one reason why we need to take a new look once again at our entire relationship with China, in particular the relationship we have in trade where we have so many of our medical devices and equipment or even basic pharmaceuticals manufactured in China. I think that's a real surprise to most Americans. It's something I've been working on for a long time to try to change. I suspect that's going to change in the months ahead. The New York Times op-ed is calling this the Trump virus. You have Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer. Initially, there were criticisms that Trump was overreacting. Now they're saying he's underreacting. Again, what's your perspective? Yeah, this is just an example of the president's critics criticizing anything he does. Remember, the single most consequential and valuable thing done to stop this virus from already spreading throughout the United States was when President Trump decided to shut down travel to China last month. What happened then? Joe Biden accused him of xenophobia. The Washington Post accused him of overreacting. But even the so-called experts who opposed the decision at the time now admit that it bought us valuable time to prevent the spread of this virus in the United States so we can do more to stockpile drugs and medical equipment, work on vaccines and therapeutics, and getting testing kits out to the front line. This is just another example, though, of how the president is going to be criticized no matter what he does. I know that he's working to make sure that we protect the health and safety of the American people, irrespective of what his critics say. Senator Cotton, thank you for joining us tonight. We do appreciate it.